want to welcome back to my channel, Anthony Trico. We're yet with another movie review. This is movie review two of eight that I'm going to be doing today. And the movie I'm going to be talking about next is Dante's Peak. Well, this was released on February 7th, 1997. It is a disaster movie uh, that received negative reviews with critics. It has a 5.9 out of 10 on IMDb, a 24% on Rotten Tomatoes, a surprising though 89% on Google. And this was directed by Roger Donaldson and written by Leslie Boheme. It had a $116 million budget and it made $178 million at the box office. So it had mild success. Uh, this movie stars Pierce Brosnan and Linda Hamilton, respectively, and a whole bunch of other side characters, including two little kids in this movie who uh, drove me insane. Uh, but I normally don't complain about child actors, uh, but the child actors in this movie were annoying. The characters were anyway. Uh, this is a this is a cheesy typical disaster movie. Uh, this one come out before another movie about a volcano, which the movie was Volcano, starring Tom Lee Jones and Don Cheadle, um, which I absolutely love. I love the movie Volcano. It's underrated. Uh, and when I found out about Dante's Peak, I was like, well, I'm not the biggest Pierre Brosnan fan, but I like Linda Hamilton. So I decided to watch it, and it, it, it's not a good movie. It... A $116 million budget, you would think it'd be such a better movie, especially in 1997. That's a lot of money for a budget for a, a movie in the 90s. Uh, but the, the characters are predictable. The character, <laughs> some of the characters were, were bad. The acting was bad. Uh, uh, Pierce and Linda were trying, but even they couldn't save this movie. It's, it's just not a good movie. I love my disaster films, uh, Twister, The Day After Tomorrow, uh, you know, several movies like that, but this, this this is not a good one, and there wasn't a lot of fanfare for this movie either. Uh, a lot of people prefer Volcano or Dante's Peak, and, and I'm definitely one of them. I, I just, I could not, I, I don't, I couldn't get invested in the movie. And I didn't feel any sympathy for the characters because when there's a potential disaster or a disaster starts to happen, they do stupid things. Uh, for example, in this movie, uh, Linda Ham Hamilton's kids, she's a single mom, uh, her uh, daughter and son, who were told to stay in town at the store when the volcano started erupting, uh, they decide to get in a vehicle and drive up to the mountain and try and save their grandma who refused to leave her home and in doing so they get trapped up there and so Pierce Bronson and Linda, Linda Hamilton have to ride up there and go save everyone and then grandma she decides to um, try and be the big hero and uh, just 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 a lot of stupid things and uh, and there's a part in this movie, and I'm sorry this is spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie, you're not missing much, but there's a scene where they're driving over a bridge, and they see all this water and everything coming towards the bridge, and they finally speed up as they get into uh, the bridge, of course there's some water covering it, and two of the vehicles get across, the third one, has just a single guy in it who's the boss of this operation. Um, he just, just sitting on the bed, the bridge in the vehicle trying to get off the bridge instead of getting out and just jumping across. He just sits there and dies. And then of course, when he gets flamed off the bridge, you hear that, ah, you know, that sound effect. And I, I laughed. I, 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 I thought that was really funny. Uh, I couldn't take this movie serious, you know, and even with Volcano, it, it is somewhat cheesy, but it's such a better movie. This movie is just disappointing, uh, especially with the two leads in it. Uh, it's definitely just, 
it's a throwaway movie. I, I'm never. I'm not going to remember anything about it. I'm not going to care anything about it. And I don't ever care to watch this movie again. At least with Volcano, I can watch that all the time because it's just a better movie. So with that, I'm going to give uh, Dante's Peak a four out of ten, and that's being generous. I mean, that's that's a D plus. So. That's just a generous uh, grade on my part. But other than that, in the comment section below, please tell me. If you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And let me know which movie you think is better. Is it Dante's Peak or is it Volcano? Both movies came out the same year. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you're new to the channel. And share the videos with all your family and friends. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Check you later.